hello hello welcome to another video with me my name is melissa if you are new here i am an illustrator and graphic designer primarily but i have a background in fashion design and just an immense love for astrology so majority of my content revolves around all of those things and how they correlate with one another in today's video i want to show you all in different ways that i style my harness belts so harness belts are my newest favorite accessory that i added to my wardrobe I feel like it really elevates an outfit, especially if it feels a little plain or if a garment doesn't have much shape to it. This is the harness belt that you are going to be seeing for the most part, but I do have another harness belt that I'm going to be integrating that I feel like works with some of my other outfits. Both harness belts are from Amazon. I'm going to be linking them down below. I wasn't sure if I was going to like harness belts when I first bottom i really loved how they were outfitted on pinterest but i wasn't sure if i would like it on me personally i was on the fence that's why i went on amazon because they have a good return policy if you are also still debating if you want to get a harness belt either get it on amazon or somewhere with a really good return policy because i have concluded i do love them hence the video i plan on definitely venturing out more are a couple of places on etsy that i plan on purchasing from oh and if you're familiar with my normal filming setup you'll know that my you'll notice that the curtain in the background has fell down and normally that curtain is like a really integral part of my filming because my dog can see me and he normally gets really excited and hyper Hopefully the main important part of this video was filmed when the curtain was still up okay on to the outfits for style number one, I have a sweater dress or a knit dress. I got it for Christmas, but it is originally from Forever 21. I feel like this is the most straightforward way to style the harness belt with some tights and some heeled loafers. For style number two, I have this midi length silk dress that I thrifted, but it is originally from Target. I feel like this is a good choice to wear for the warmer months and it looks good alone. But for a more formal occasion and for the colder months, I would pair it with a statement coat. I got this leopard coat off of Depop because one of my style icons, Kristen Ritter, has the very same coat. And all I did was look up leopard fur coat. And I'm sure you can find something similar on the secondhand market as well. Next, I have this gingham dress paired with some boots I got from Target. The gingham dress is from Depop. The brand is California Concepts, which was a very popular brand in the 90s. I got this silk bomber from Goodwill and I'm pairing it with my one-sided harness belt. Next, I have this silk slip that I got from Goodwill. I don't know the original brand. Um, alone without the harness belt, it does look like more of a nightgown. So I feel like the belt really makes it look like it's ready for outdoors and I'm pairing it with a ballet shrug that I got from the store Dance Moves which is an actual ballet store. This is definitely an outfit that I would wear to go out. I have it paired with the boots as well. Next I have this turtleneck that has a bedazzled skull and bones on it. I thrifted and the grid skirt is originally from American Apparel from years ago but you can thrift it from Depop as well if you look up American Apparel grid skirt. Pairing the same turtleneck with a Dickies jumpsuit that I got from Amazon, but I'm pretty sure you can get this from the Dickies website as well. Also, oddly enough, there are some Dickies that are sold at grocery stores for a more corporate goth look or something that is appropriate for the office. I have this top it's called the body blouse from michelin pit and i have it paired with some corduroy pants that i got from target same outfit but i'm pairing it with a trench coat this is definitely a more realistic outfit that i would wear to the office since it is snowing lately and i got this coat from goodwill this outfit was inspired by a lot of pieces that i saw from pinterest where they pair a blazer with harness belts or a button-up. I got this button-up from Goodwill. It looks like it was a brand from the 80s. Without the harness belt, it doesn't have much of a shape to it. And with the harness belt, it's a lot more flattering. And I have it paired with some slacks that I thrifted as well. I also feel like this harness belt would work with the button-up, so I have it paired as well. 
you can wear this exact harness belt, which I have linked down below in several different ways. The strap is adjustable and so is the chain at the bottom. This is my work bag. It's big enough to carry two laptops. I have it linked down below if you're interested. And these are my newest headphones. And this is mainly what I look like when I go to work, plus my trench coat. If you watched this entire thing, thank you so much. And until next time, bye.